Hello and welcome to On The Couch with Umchaga, powered by Superbets, the platform offering you more ways to play. An exciting episode that we've got here today. I'm your host and brand ambassador for Superbets. My name is Umchaga. I'm your friend, of course. Uh, we don't have to be formal about it. Every week, you can catch me right here on the couch, chilling with some of the coolest people in South Africa and the world, uh, talking all things football, uh, life in general. And of course, I have to get their predictions on what they think of some of the sporting activities that are going to be happening right through the year. And today, of course, we also have exciting competitions on our YouTube channel, uh, exciting giveaways. So please like, subscribe, leave us a comment if you can. I uh, would like to alert you every time we drop an episode, which will be every single Friday. This is a special episode, though, because there's NetBank Cup happening. And this is a man that I said he starts to align um, every time he steps on the pitch or takes over a club. Maybe there's one or two clubs where we can say things didn't work out for him. But generally speaking, top tier coach, uh, top tier human being. To the Ama 2000s, Abu Zakumi, uh, if you were born after 1990 even, <laughs> you might not know this man. But he's a football legend in his own right with a beautiful story to tell from the 80s to the 90s <laughs> uh, back in Cape Town uh, representing Hellenic. His name is none other than Gavin Hunt. Hey, coach, how's that for a CV, eh? Yo. I tried to summarize okay. it. Okay, you're making me feel older again, <laughs> <laughs> which I am. <laughs> Solid golfer as well. Uh, what's your handicap now? Uh, six, uh, but it could be anything from six to ten <laughs> at the moment. Depending yeah. on the day and how many No, no, I've, I've obviously played a long time, yeah, so uh, yeah. you, know, you, you understand the game. Sure, And sure. Uh, you learn to play even when you're playing badly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, please always remember to bet responsibly. Stick to your limits. Always check your balance and play wisely. This is a message by Superbets. Bet without regret. We need you all to be responsible and enjoy playing. Um, although we say it's betting, but it's also playing because it's voluntary. You are interacting with other people. You can compare yourselves with all your peers out there um, on, on, on online, even offline. And we have Gavin Hunt here to share some of his predictions. So maybe he can help you make a decision on some of those games. There's a big game happening as well, coach. I'm going to put your head on the block down mm. the road. Um, you've been busy this January. Mm. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> January for many of us is a short period where there's a limited amount of talent. But for whatever reason, I feel like you found the pieces that you want. Are you satisfied? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never. No, uh, if you've got a big checkbook, it's easy. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? You can overpay for players like Chelsea. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous yeah. what they're doing. Yes, you know? says. You know, they better come right. Club. Otherwise, they're going to have another manager soon. Yeah. So, if you, you know, if you can, it's always very difficult to buy in the middle window period because yeah. you're going to overpay for players because teams know that you're, know desperate, you're desperate to get them or, yeah. or you know, or you're not going to get anybody because you, you're competing with them in a certain position yeah. in the league or whatever, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, much easier with a big checkbook. Of course. If you don't have a checkbook like we don't have, haven't bought a player, yeah. you've got to try and wheel and deal and swap and have to give away to get a little bit, you know. And second place is looking really, really nice now. Yeah, but we're second by... They've, they've gone around the corner. <laughs> they've gone around the corner already. Yeah. Yes. Sir. We're still at the starting blocks. Yeah. yeah. But from where, from where you come from, you guys. Were yeah. Nine, look, nine, yeah. Ten, look, we, we, we put a team over? together. You know, the team they suffered a little bit yeah. because of the signings and that. So we put a team together, trying yeah. to get. You know, brought a few in that I know and that can help us, and they have helped us. Yeah. And they've been, you know, the the, the, the strength of the team. But, you know, I think the, I think next season will certainly will be far better. Yeah. I know we will be better. Yeah. You know? And you know, when you lost against Sundowns. Yeah. Um, you're missing something up front, right? And well, I said, and I said, I, I can see, I, I know, I know, Kevin, I know, Coach Kevin. He's gonna go get himself a big one, and you got yourself a big number well, nine. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, La Passa, he's done. You know, he's got a, a record. Yeah. But um, he, he, like I said, we got four strikers, but the, all the strikers are very similar. Yeah. So yeah. we need something that's different that plays a little bit. I, mean, I don't want to get too involved into tactics and talking yeah. football, but he's totally different to what we got, and, yeah. and I knew that. With him, we'll, we can at least we can have a little bit of a look better. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, and yeah. Already on Saturday, he played his first game. Yeah. Uh, he did well. You know, solid man. Let's let's run it back. Let's run it back to um, Kevin Hunt, the player that I know. I mean, mm. as I said, I'm a 2000 and Zakumis who were born in 2010 and beyond. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only know you as a coach. Of yeah. course, you were a player before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were playing Cape Town. Oh, players. Um, there's a saying in life. 
Yeah. The older you get, the better you used to think you were. <laughs> you know, in everything we do in life and, uh, you know, it goes in life. Yeah. But, I mean, it was totally different. Um, yeah. You know, those days we pretty much, well, I was I was signed at 17 as, yeah. a, as a professional um, yeah. at school. And sure. my headmaster told me that I was going to be the biggest failure in life. <laughs> I'll show you the report. I failed and... Uh, and he wasn't wrong. <laughs> and then, uh, and then about two months later, I parked next to him in the in the car park with a car. Yo. And he said, "Well, who's driving to school?" And there was a big thing. I yeah. said, "Me." He said, "Where do you get the money?" I said, "Well, I'm a professional footballer." <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I started. You know, I played. I was very young and uh, made my debut and got yeah. given a chance. And um, you know, and then obviously, you know, the rest is history. You know. And. Um, the player that you were, I mean, let's get technical. I know you're you're a right back defender. Well, I wasn't a right. I wasn't. Yeah. I was. You know, people lamb me as a. I wasn't. I was a, a central defender. And then yeah. when they signed me, they said to me, "No, you're too short." Okay. And okay. I said, "Okay, well." They said, "Well, you've got to play fullback." And I didn't. I hated it there. Sure. I hated it. I swear. I mean, yeah. I hated it. And you know, in the days gone by, central defenders have to be pretty over six foot. Of course, yeah. And obviously, yeah. you had to be airily strong and those type of things. Obviously, passing. But all through my juniors, I was a central defender. Yeah, yeah. And they signed me, and then they said, no. You, and then you end up playing there, and then you end up playing. But then I, I played in midfield, and sure. I mean, I scored two goals against guys that she's playing left wing. Hectic. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Gary Bailey was in goals. And uh, yeah. I mean, I was a, a, a centre back, and I played. Yeah. But we would, in those days, when you were short, yeah, you had you a squad of 14, yeah. 15. Yeah. And uh, the jerseys were 1 to 11. <laughs> so when you walked in the dressing room, the coach said, look, you play number three today. Oh, you know, it's left back or sure, number six sure. in midfield or. And I played yeah. left wing that day, you know. Hectic. So um, yeah, yeah. It, it's very different now to squads of thirty. Yeah. And then it, it was less problems in those days. Less, sure. less the better. Yeah. Now and the squads, know, the squads are too big. The squads are too big. But now. we were more durable those days. <laughs> you know. as, as you can tell, I mean, you well, we were durable. We, we yeah. you know, we played double headers every weekend. Yeah, yeah. So you played Friday night, Sunday afternoons. Yeah. So we would play Rangers on a Friday night and sure. Chiefs on a Sunday. And Chiefs are sitting waiting for you. They don't play sure. Friday. So, you, you know. And you still have jobs. Yeah, well, yeah, and then you fly back in 10, 11, 7 in the morning, working on Monday. <laughs> and back at training Monday night. So. How, was, how, was, how did you guys manage that? I mean, well, going, that's what having I said, a 9 to 5. That's what, uh, you know, the, the youth and that was far different. Yeah. Uh, you, know, and I always, you know, I don't want to go back to it. We were better of in course, our day. But things were, they were tough. People were tougher. People were stronger. Yeah. I mean, the youth of today, the it's they, they're not tough. They're not strong mentally yeah. they don't want to work yeah. they used to today want to work yeah. people I'm overloaded coach yeah you, they sit behind a computer all day yeah you know we, we need manual work physical work you know sure sure i mean uh, you know it was those types so was it better i don't yeah. know sure but certainly things are much easier now because it's much more easier on a phone so we of never course. had cell phones of course you know i mean i grew up with no television so you can imagine yeah there was no television we never <laughs> sure. had a television yeah yeah so now you think as a young kid you take television away from kids today, take a laptop. There was no computers, no phones. Yeah. They, they lose different. their minds. If you want to date a girlfriend, you have to phone the house. <laughs> and then the father answered the phone. You're in trouble. <laughs> hey, she's yeah. not here. Meanwhile, she's around the corner. You know what I mean? And then you have to wait till tomorrow to phone. <laughs> Nowadays, you text them on a message, you know? So, sure. you know, things are different. Eh? <laughs> yeah, they've you know? changed. They've changed a lot. Yeah, it's really different. <laughs> did, did you know as you were playing, um, especially towards your, the, the end of your, your career, yeah. did you know you were going to become a coach? And... So what did you I, know that you were going to be so, a good So coach? obviously for extra money, yeah. um, I got asked to come coach some school kids at Holy yeah. Cross, which is a little, Hectic. you know, right? a little convent there in yes, Belleville, yes. friends of mine. And uh, I was coaching them three, four times a week, earning yeah. a little bit of money, cash money, you know, to help, whatever. Yeah. And uh, I thought, okay, well, this is all right. And then I got offered, then I, I got offered the under 18 Western Province team job. Nice. My friend was a school teacher and he said to me, listen, I need a coach. I said, okay, I'll come do it. Yeah. And I coached them to, before they went to a tournament. Yeah. And then, luckily enough, they went to the tournament. We had a break that week or two. Yeah. And I went to the tournament, and then I got chosen as a South African under under 18 coach. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. So I was like, okay, well, all right. You maybe, know. maybe I'm good. <laughs> no, no. I just said, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and then you go, and then you, and I carried on playing. And then, yeah. and then you know, I had a bad injury. At, I was 32, and yeah. you know, I snapped my Achilles. And yes, it took me nine months, and I couldn't come right. And, yeah. you know, and those days, we never had contracts. Yeah. We played from season to season. Okay. So, you know, not like these players these days, you've got three, four year deals. Well, uh, you just, go, just I was get seven years. The oldest, the longest serving player, and yeah. after 14 years, is, you know, on your bike, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. And I'm in plaster, and, you know, yeah, and, yeah. Um, and I couldn't, I, I was nine months out, and I just, and the guy said to me, listen, we got this job at Vasco de Gama, you want to yeah. come coach? I said, oh, okay, let me try this. Nice. And I went there, and I was there for like 10 games, and then obviously I went to seven stars, and then, yeah. and then the rest is history. You know? Sheesh. And I, you know, I looked at your timeline. It's an incredible success. Um, you know, as I said, bar, barring maybe Chiefs and cheaper, 
You know, well, I don't, you know people go on about Chiefs. Yeah. You know, with, with <laughs> that squad of players. Yeah. I don't care what anybody said. Went to, I took them to the, went, well, uh, went to the semi-final of the Champions League. Yeah. Which they'll never in their life get again there. And they went to the final, obviously. They fired me with, in the semi-final. <laughs> I mean, you know, so I got fired there. Yeah. And then uh, with the game to go. and uh, But we went to the semi-final of the Champions League. Yeah. With, with no signings, no yeah. new players. Obviously, you know, we weren't doing well in the league, but we were 8th, 9th. Yeah, yeah, mid -table -ish, yeah. Mid-table-ish. Uh, yeah. But the Champions League was a big focus at that point in time. Yeah, yeah. And it was big. And then they got to the, they fired me, and then they got to the final uh, yeah. the next week, and you know. How was how was that? Because you've been to CAF uh, yeah, competitions yeah. a lot before. You know, right? the hardest thing in, in CAF is to get into the group. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have got to yeah, qualify. Yeah. So you got to play four qualifying games. Yeah. So Against we played in. Like we Mauritius played in. And... We were no, 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 no. We played in Angola. Oh. And we had to beat in Angola. In Angola. Yeah. Uh, and we beat them, and then we beat. I can't remember. I, th I think it was in. Guinea or somewhere, yeah, yeah. and we beat them to get into a group. Now, <laughs> yeah. my friend, to get into the group, <laughs> while we're trying to play domestically and we were of struggling a bit, well, yeah, yeah. and then uh, and then we got through the group, we got out the group, yeah, and then we got in the quarterfinal, got to the semifinals, you know, yeah. I mean, geez, like, and we had like a real put together squad that yeah. needed a huge regeneration, and they did, after they fired me, they did that, you know, and they're still doing it now. I mean, clearly you were not far off. So, you know, it, it, people say it was a failure. It wasn't. It, I, yeah. you know, it was a great experience for me, a great yeah. club, great opportunity. But I knew, I knew I'd be what successful there. Started, I just yeah. needed to get through this period where we could change the team. Yeah. You know, but that didn't happen, you know. I mean, um, everywhere else, though, uh, it's a beautiful story. I mean, for instance, I know a, a lot of people, because in South Africa, we don't name our choices. Listen, I would never have left Vits. Yes. But we got sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the players you look in the PSL now, the, the good ones at Pirates of Vits, the good ones at Chiefs of Vits, yep. uh, the good ones at Sundowns of Vits. Yeah. So we had a great team there. I would never have left. I was there seven years, yeah. eight years. And then I was sitting in a hotel room and in the bubble in yeah. the COVID and we were told, well, we got no job. I said, oh, that's very nice. <laughs> what happens now? And then while I was sitting there, it was like a meat market. No way. The phone was going, Pirates were bidding for this one, Chiefs were bidding for that one. And everybody got sold except me. And I thought, oh, well, I better get a job. I better, you know. Better get a job. And obviously we were in a hotel for seven weeks yeah. in Rosebank. Yeah, because, you know, the COVID was of shut course, down. Of course, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and then the Chiefs came up and I knew it wasn't the right time. Yeah. Because of, you know, what the was timing, happening, yeah, the yeah, timing. Yeah. But you take it because you think, okay, if I got a bit of time and I get through the first year, yeah. we'll be gone. And I knew it. But anyway, it is what it is. Did you guys give... Um, the trophy, the, the first APSA Premiership trophy um, ever, ever in the history. No, we kept it. You know, it was never touched by anybody else. No, we kept except it. Except yeah. Supersport. Did yeah. you give it a name? Uh, it wasn't a very nice looking trophy. <laughs> Jeez, like it. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, a trophy must be a trophy with, with, with things, with the handles on the end. So you yeah. hold the trophy. This yeah. one was like, a, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who designed it. But I mean, listen, I mean, we were very fortunate, very lucky to have yeah. a sponsor like that to, to come in. And change the change the league from first prize of two point five million to ten million. Yeah, immediately. Yeah, and we and I just started at SuperSport, and, yeah. and we won it obviously three times, and yeah. then uh, we kept the trophy. We kept the trophy. Nobody mm -hmm. has ever seen it. Eh? No. <laughs> that's a, that's yeah. a nice that's a nice sa little yeah. salute. Look, sometimes now I think they're going to keep their trophy for the next couple of years as well. You know? In fact, that's that's the conversation we're having. Yeah. Um, with the, with the Sundowns guys, I said. You know, you're one season we have, away. But we, we have to keep a new, yeah. keep getting new trophies because they win it three years, three years, three years. Yeah. Each time. If nobody gives them competition, they're going to win it again, you know? Well, uh, easy this year. Sure. Yeah. Uh, with so many accolades, coach, um, you know, that we, we speak of, um, everywhere that you've been, you said Vets, you know, Super Sport, you know, wherever you touch, Black Leopards even. Um, Swallows. Qualifying qualifying for top eight with, with that Black Leopard. Swallows, you know, the reason that you're here it was the beginning of that. What, what the NetBank Cup is now. It was called the EPSA Cup. Yeah, yeah, the EPSA Cup at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. um, in all that, you know, um, where do you think? In, I mean, I know it's, it's not, it's not, I know <clears throat> most sports people don't do that, but in your head, you know, you, we have that conversation as people, as, 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 as pundits. Um, where do you think you rank in the PSL era as a, as a coach? Rank? Yeah. What is that? If they said, if they said number know. one, two, three. That's not for me to decide. Yeah. I don't, uh... I don't, I, I, and I say this because it's easy to say what I'm going to say. Yeah. I don't play, for, you don't play for trophies and, and, and awards and self. Yes. I play for, so we can better young men's lives. Yeah. And I say this with, with all honesty. Sure. And the more people I can take and make their lives better. Yeah. And take them to, and realize that we can, we, as a society, we can do better if we can 
show them the right way. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't copy all my ways. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm mean, show them the right way, how to look after families, yeah. how to how to build a life, yeah. how to leave something behind yeah. for when your kids are, are, are you know, uh, coming into their sta- yeah. important stage of their lives. So I, I would like to think, I would like to be remembered one day about changing people's lives. Yeah. And today, I have players phoning me from the early nine from the nineties, yeah, saying definitely. to me, "I'd just like to thank you what you did for my life," and yeah. and that's more gratifying for me as a as a human being to 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 change people's lives. Uh, and and you know we're on a live broadcast, you can talk all this crap because you get people that stand on stages and they say all these things. <laughs> and, but uh, from the bottom of my heart, I yeah. really mean that, and I and I, and I got. And when players, I fight with players. Of course, we fight. Of course, because when I see a new BMW come in the car park, I tell them to take it back. Yeah. Or we or new. I've uh, heard those stories about. Uh, yeah. Come with techies. Uh, yeah. What's all these brand names? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We could go to Fordsburg and buy the <laughs> not Gucci, Gucci. You can buy not a G. You can buy this one with the C on it. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and Gucci yeah. bags and and sure. you know we're wasting money. On yeah, and yeah. I get that that upsets me because, and I know it's modern day. It's all changing, but yeah. people need to look after their families and uh, and make sure that when you finish the game. That you've got something to to live off and yeah. leave your family in a better place. Yeah, and that's I've what heard, I, that's I've heard what, the stories. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm very big into that with the players. Yeah, and not like I sit with them every day and talk. Of course, but passing word here and again. You know, and, and you can see a player change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they come with a pick and pay bag the first day. Yeah, or checkers plastic bag, and the next day it's Gucci bag. I was, yeah. Ah, it's a problem coming. <laughs> there's there. a problem. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? And, so and pens pens hanging. Yeah, you know, the pens, pens below there. You know, and I'm like. You know, and then everything else starts. You know, yeah. And so it's important that we, as a, as as coaches or whatever you want to yeah. call us, are uh, you know mentoring those type of things. For and sure. obviously, football's important to of win course, trophies. Yeah. And yeah, you want to. But it's, I, I, I like to I like to certainly look at that aspect more. Yeah, you know. Um, you know, as I said, most of us, in, as, as people discuss in social media, even in bars, tavern, mm-hmm, taverns, taverns, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh, wherever. You know, the way we discuss that you, you are up there. Yeah, people with, don't know people yeah. because, and they make comments on social media about the yeah. situation. And, and it's, if you're involved in that, and I stay out of that, I stay, sure. I step right out of it yeah. because you'll go mad yeah. on social media. But I, it's, you know, people making comments. And, and I always say people making comments behind phones yeah. uh, <laughs> are spineless people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because they say those things. They'll never say it. They'll never know what the real fact of yeah. the matter is. Yeah. And, if you don't, but these days, that's it is what it is. It is, you know? what it is. And, and people can make comments about anything in the world, yeah. and uh, and, it's and get some, away with it, and get away with yeah. it. You know, it's very, very sad. So I stay away. Yeah. You know, I try and uh, even my team I support or don't support, and they yeah. play badly. I don't, I don't make a comment about sure. oh this and that. Yeah. Because I don't know the ins and outs of what's what's happening. What's you know? happening? The best PSL coaches, which in my opinion, and a lot of people, I'm, I think, who are watching as well, you rank. Up there with them, Ted Dimitri, Gordon Egerzund, Peter Musimane, they all got their shots in Bapana Bapana. Mm. You know, but but for mm. whatever reason, not you. Um, do you feel do you feel overlooked? Um, I've always made a statement that I felt I was too young for the job because okay. I think national teams should be coached by older play uh, older coaches. Yeah, in, in any in any any forms, cricket, uh, because you need somebody with a lot of experience. Yeah. and doesn't need the day to day. Smelling the grass. Sure, uh, sure. You know, going out in the morning, eight o'clock or yeah. eight or whatever. I, I, I do feel that um, I'd love the opportunity one day yeah. to do it because I feel maybe yeah. we can do something, you know. Yeah. Uh, not that I'm not supporting the current regime. Of course, of course. Because I, I feel we as coaches get judged on your national team. So if your national team is poor, yeah. I th- they say all South African coaches are poor. Of course. <laughs> they say South African players are poor. And yeah. that's the truth. Yeah. But when we were 96, when we won it, every, all South African coaches were good and yeah. our players were being exported all over Everywhere. the world. Yeah. Uh, now we don't have, we got one plane in the second division, or oh, I don't know where he is. Yeah. No, he's in Burnley now. Burnley, you know? yeah. I mean, Jesus. And know? we're celebrating hard. And we're celebrating. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, before, so, yeah, I mean, I, uh, but a lot of things will have to change. Of course. And that's where the fight will come and the boxing will come. <laughs> um, just a real quick one. What do you think can be done to improve the, the current situation? Well, I think I think you need to get back to the DNA of a South African footballer. Yeah. I think we've gone away. We've tried to be copy uh, Spanish, Brazilians. Uh, and mix it all up. We want to play this way of playing. I think we need to go back to what traditional strengths of, the, of a national team was in the yeah. 90s. 
yeah. of a little bit of strength, a little bit of flair, have the balance right, have the have we got the right type of players that the mentality, yeah. not just picking players because they've done well on a Saturday for Chiefs or Pirates or something. You know, <laughs> you know we need yeah. to take players and take them in the jungle. Can they, can they, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? We need yeah. tougher t- mentality and and. The, and that's sometimes different. Not the best player, of course. That's the right player. It's the right player. Yeah. So we need to get that. We need to get that right. And yeah. I think um, I don't think it's an overnight process. Yeah. It's got to start with the youth because I think youth level are choosing the wrong type of players. Facts. Facts. You know, Facts. and and we want the certain way of playing the game, and I don't think that will bring us any results. So it used to be a huge mind shift. Yeah. And it will be, if, you know, if they get you. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> right now you're going to be going around in circles if yeah. you if you're trying to. You know, play players because they're playing well on a Saturday for yeah. but he's not the right player, you know. Let's connect with our social media community just to see what's going on on our socials. Lots going on. Uh, last minute signing. This was for a certain club. As you can see, the club's linked to this player. Who am I? I was signed at the last ditch minute of the January transfer window. I've represented all these clubs. I'm not going to say it's the right order <laughs> because I'll be giving it away, but go ahead to our Socials on Twitter and Facebook at Superbets, uh, of course, at Superbets underscore Mzansi um, on Twitter. Interact with us. Let us know who this is. And of course, don't forget to, lo- to leave your username and send a chance to win a thousand rand to boost your wallet so that you can make some good predictions and earn some money. I've got no so- clue. <laughs> um, yeah, I won't, because uh, you'll be I'm giving it away. I'm trying to play out, but I can't yeah, get it. Yeah, you can't get, get to it. When you tell me, I'll get it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you at, uh, offline, coach. Okay. <laughs> so, Let's get to Nedbank Cup. I think you've got pedigree in this competition. You Jeez, know, man. as I said, um, you've won it with an underdog, Morocco Swallows, mm-hmm. when it was still called the Apsa Cup. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's called the Nedbank Cup, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you rate your chances before we get to that? How do you rate your chances? Um, I know the, the, draw, course, the, the league, the the league draw, is very the, important. Yeah, the league's the most important. Yeah, thing. But then at the moment, of course, the league is just an outside chance right now, right? You you push all the way. Nah, the, you know? the league's gone. Don't worry yeah. about it. You know what I mean? But now with yeah. the Netman Cup is the real shot for everybody else. The draw right is now. the most important in the Netman yeah. Cup. Yeah. It's like any any cup competition with a draw. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you, you could end up getting to the semi-final, yeah. not playing a, a Premier League team. Yeah. And then you're in the semi-final and you, you, you know, and you, and you do well, then all of a sudden you're in the final, then anything can happen. Yeah. Where you can go the other route and you can really battle and play top sides, top sides, top sides. Facts. I mean, I was at Swallows, I think it was 2000, I don't know what year was it, 2004, yeah, 2004. three. Yeah. We played Pirates in the first round. Yeah. And they gave us no chance. We beat them there at Joburg Stadium. <laughs> sure. And then we got to the final and, and, they, and they had an easier final. We played yeah. Manning Rangers in the final. Yeah. It wasn't a, a, a big team because yeah. we knocked out one of the teams earlier than ours. For sure. But if you get a, 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 you know, a big team in the semi-final and they've got 99.9% of the supporters, yeah. You know, it's, there's, trouble, there's yeah. always a trouble, you know. Um, and um, so if you've then had to test, because you won it with Super Sports as well, mm. which victory t- tasted sweeter than the other? Well, the, the, the one, I think the 2012, yeah. we beat Sundowns 2-0 yeah. at the Lando Stadium. Um, you know, with a very, I would say a very depleted team yeah. from the Super Sports. Uh, super sport teams that I had. That you had, yeah. We built a team there over a season and a half there, and yeah. and we got to the, the top eight final that year as well. Yeah. We lost on the, uh, we lost on a, was it a golden goal? Yeah, golden goal. That was the first. We yeah, lost the one. Our, the, the one, one the stupidest so ruling football I've ever seen yeah. in my life. And they changed their mind the next season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After thirty minutes, you, you kick off thirty second goal, one nil down. So you lost. It, you got thirty minutes to play. Anyway. Yeah. So we lost that, uh, and then we got to the final of, of that and beat them. Yeah. Then I was, I, I was in the final three, four years in a row. Yeah. I think four years in a row, three yeah. years in a row. We played Chiefs, we played, I, can't, uh, I was with Verts. Yeah. You know, we went to Verts, and we got to, we got, so I think it was four years in a row in the yeah. final. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some petting, some real petting. Only one one. We got Chiefs, they beat us extra time. Yeah. Uh, Lander Pires beat us extra time. Yeah. And I can't remember the other one. Chiefs. I no, it's Chiefs. I think Chiefs us twice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Extra time. Um, well, of course, you're playing a, an amateur team now um, in your next round. Yeah. Uh, Dangerous. You never that's know. What I'm saying. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know there's, there's no there's no technocrat yeah, footage now. You know, they're going to lose. You know, there's yeah. old adages, all these old things you hear every week. Yes. But it is the fact. Um, you know, you could play a team and, you know, something can happen early yeah. day. They go one up and... 
and now you're battling. But, you know, if we play well and they play well, mm. we win. Absolutely. We should win. Absolutely. Do you understand? But you, you come there and you have a little bit off and you're not tight and, yeah. and something, you know. And football, that can happen. Yeah. In rugby, no chance. <laughs> no chance. You yeah, know, you yeah. could have uh, South Africa play only maybe in Japan when you lost in the World Cup. Yeah. But you'll have a, a minnow, yeah. uh, you know, and they, they can't lose. You know what yeah. I mean? Just, yeah. you'll, you'll run them over. Yeah. But in football, you know, teams make it difficult for you. They'll sit off, you know, you can't get in there. And, yeah. You know, you can go round and up and down and they can't attack goal. So Ish. you've got to be very careful with these type of games. Ish. Okay. Um, I think I've got the gist of what the coach is expecting in the Edmund Cup. He doesn't want to say he's going to win it outright. No. He says it's the luck of the draw for now. Let's have a look at the next promo. What's our socials doing? What can you stand to win? Oh, Liverpool. Sheesh. Yay, Liverpool fans, let us know. Mm. Do you miss this guy? I Sadio thought, Mane, did you make a big mistake? I thought I had problems. <laughs> did you guys make a big mistake? Maybe you have another highlight, of course, from the past weekend. There were lots of upsets. Um, Spurs beating Man City. Is an upset to many people's uh, books. Uh, of course, Arsenal. Um, nobody saw them losing against an Everton that's really struggling. I took the double, by the way. Oh, you? you? Yeah, of course. New coach, <laughs> new manager, Everton at home. Yeah. Arsenal, no chance. Spurs haven't lost to Man City in five years. You've got to take no the chance. double. You oh, have to take the double. You have to. this is the right guy to have here. Yeah. Listen yeah. to this guy when he does the predictions. Easy, guys. easy, <laughs> easy, easy. Easy money. Anytime a team changes the coach, yeah. you back, the, back that team. One love, coach. You it. got that. You got that. Pan Our Panthers have got that now. FIFA week. FIFA week. After yeah. FIFA week, yeah. always back the underdog. Always. I'm telling you, because the main, the big teams, they and have 12, players 15 everywhere. players gone away. <laughs> the small team, they got nobody gone away. Yeah. They're training nicely. They yeah. come back. They're tired. Back the underdog. Shoo. Give me what, do you th what do you think is going on with Klopp at the moment? Is it a... I, you know, is, you know, it, is it him? Is it squad? I always say to you, when you're winning, change the team. Yeah. When you're losing, don't change don't the team. Don't change the team, yeah. Now they're losing. But I mean, but when you're winning like they were, they need to bring in fresher blood. Of course. And 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 that they didn't do it fast enough, I, yeah. the midfield is the problem. Yeah. For yeah. me. You know, the defense are making mistakes, but the midfield they've lost their drive, they've lost their their press, they, yeah. they, they the way they used to they used to suffocate teams. Of course, yeah. And they don't they, the Jordan Hendersons of the world have been unbelievable. Yeah. But Tiago's not gonna do that. Jordan yeah. can't do that. Luxury Fabiano play. is playing Luxury. further and further back. <laughs> yeah. In the back four. He wants to be a centre back. Yeah. Right? Uh, you know, they have, they're not getting the press and, yeah. and they're not suffocating teams like they used to. Yeah. So, you know, Salah, obviously, I mean, he couldn't score, you know, if he tried at the moment. Yeah. So he's also going through a bad patch, but they certainly look that now they're trying to change the team yeah. when, when you're losing, it's very difficult. It's very really, difficult. You know, yeah. Let's have a look at that price boost. I want another prediction from the coach. To hear from him, from him uh, what he thinks. Um, it's Man United Leeds, coach. I mean, when? The phone. Man nah. United Leeds. No, Leeds. He's, he's, no chance. Yeah? No chance. Man United. Man United take your moment. house, take your car, put everything on it. <laughs> take your car. You got that. Take your house, put, take your car. There, there you have it. Leeds, you know, Leeds are the, they're, they're the most run, they, they run the most mileage. They... But they, I they, wanted to say this past weekend. But they they, they play the, they they're trying to play the game too fast. Yes. Do you understand what yes. I'm saying? So everything's 100 miles an hour. Yeah. And then high energy, high energy, which obviously yeah. comes from you know the, the coaching staff. Yeah. But they need to, you know, there's a, there's a, so Jesse Mash Jesse Mash is not getting it right. Well, I, I understand tempo. what he's trying to do. Yeah. I, yeah. But you cannot play like that week in and week out. Yeah. Marcelo, the coach, even before them trying to play like he that. He tried that, yeah. And they suffocate and they press and they press. Yeah. But eventually, you know, it's like when you blow a balloon up yeah. and you throw it in the air, it, goes, <laughs> it ends up in nothing, you know? Oh, so there you have it. Man United, uh, according to the coach, um, what I saw is well a good job, eh? weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Job, eh? yeah. And an excellent job. A former protege of the coach is also the striker's coach there. All of a sudden, they're scoring goals now. <laughs> Benny must be Benny's coach. <laughs> Hey. You, know, you know, you know what opportunity to, for in his life. I yeah, mean, hey. I mean, I phoned him and spoke to him. And it's unbelievable. Yeah, hey. you know, to be in that involvement. At, but listen, he played at that level, so he, I you wanted know, to he, say, yeah. Listen, so he's got great experience. Yeah, he never be intimidated. Never feel like he's out of place. Yeah, he he's doesn't been at that level. Yeah, yeah. But uh, to coach now to work with Ronaldo like he did and work yeah. at Rashford's and and uh, where they got all these guys they got there, you know. Yeah. So it must be a great experience on every day. I'm trying to get over there. Yeah. And spend a week there with him. But nice. I mean, it's difficult because the only time he can do it is FIFA week. Yeah. And then all yeah. the big players are gone. Gone, yeah. So then you're going to watch, you know. But I mean, 
I'm going to go try and get there and see yeah. if we can try and watch a session or two, you know. How was he as a player? Benny? Yeah. You know, when I walked on the training ground the first night, I um, so I took over the team on the Monday. They played on the Sunday, mm. so we came in. And he never played in the team on the Sunday. Yeah. Um, and he was on the bench or whatever. And anyway, yeah. I said, well, I don't really know the players. We, we'll have a little bit of a looser game. And yeah. I said, who's this kid? Yeah. I said, he had no teeth, he's thin. Yeah. You know, I said, who's this kid? He was unbelievable. Yeah. Balanced, beautiful. And he, he, he had beautiful running style. He's balanced. You know, when yeah. a, foot, a good football player's got balance, you yeah. know, they, you can you when the ball, tell where he's when going. the ball yeah. comes into them, they're moving it on their first mm. touch into a safe area. Yeah. And, he, and I said, who is this kid? I said, right. And they said, I put him in the team yeah. and, and he scored. And then he told me he's a striker. I said, listen, striker, you couldn't strike a match. He's, yeah, he's You're going to play on the yeah. wing. I'm going to put you on the wing there. Yeah. We could have a touchline can protect you. Yeah. And, and he got 27 goals from the right wing. I yeah, said, just he play there. He was blazing. Okay, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. And then you could, you know, after a week or two, I said to the owner, listen, this boy needs to go to the next level. Yeah. And then we loaned him to Cape Town Spurs. They played Chiefs. Chiefs, he's got he scored a hat trick. <laughs> he scored a hat trick. And then we <laughs> sold him to Amsterdam. Gone, yeah. But he was, he was away. He, his enthusiasm for the game, his yeah. desire, his work rate. Uh, you know, every day he came to train, he was smiling, yeah. wants to score, wants to win. Yeah. And, you know, I just helped him on his path and uh, and then we sold him to AX Amsterdam not yeah. me the, the club and at least we bought some new combis and, and transportation <laughs> from the money <laughs> those and, are the good uh, old times and then I went to Amsterdam and he was there and you know he was top goal scorer the yeah, first year yeah. no fantastic player yeah. I think he could have achieved more yeah. he won the Champions League which is no South African that has done Celta Vigo time I don't think any South African can win it in our life yeah. not in this room yet no in our lifetime <laughs> and he's won the Champions League yeah. you know he scored uh, against Man United he yeah. scored 2-3 against Man United yeah. there um but, uh, it's that Celta Vigo period, yeah. with that national team, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I think and then with those moves, to, you know, yeah. he, at the, he went Blackburn. When he was a Blackman, he needed to move out to yeah. Chelsea. When yeah. Mourinho went to Chelsea, he was going to bring him into Chelsea, yeah. and he needed he needed he, he was a player that needed a big club. Yeah, and Porto was a big club, and they won the Champions League. But yeah. I'm talking the bigger clubs, yeah, of course, and, yeah, of course, and, and a fantastic, good human being too. So good. Sheesh. You know the the coach that that took over seven stars before you, Michel Jangaga. He was a decent player. Yeah. He was a good player. He was very good, yeah. Yeah, very good player. So he, he saw Benny at 14 because um, I was friends with the son. Oh, okay. So the son was playing a match and was waiting for him to come yeah. pick him up, right? Yeah, yeah. So whilst he's watching Crusaders. Yeah, Crusaders. And he, and he says, right. So the dad's like, hey, come. Yeah. Pick, he's like, no, no, you come. Yeah. There's someone you need yeah. to see here. But you know, Benny, they play for the gang teams. Yes, yeah. On Sundays. Yeah. yeah. Now they were making more money in the gang teams on a Sunday morning. Yeah. So we, you know what happened at Seven Stars? We yeah. used to play Sunday afternoons, right? Yeah. Anyway, we train the whole week, but come Sunday afternoons, the players are dead, man. Yeah. They go run, they tired. Like, why? Thinking, what is going on here? <laughs> anyway, the guy took, no, they're playing Sunday morning, 10 o'clock. <laughs> and I go watch a game there in a grassy park. Gangsters, they're paying them cash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they pay them for the, and then they rush off and they come play for me at 3 o'clock. We're trying to get promoted. I said, right, we changed all the games to Friday nights. Yeah. I said, right. We That's won the league. We won it. Let them play Sunday. <laughs> My owner, he's moaning. Ah, oh, they can't play. I'm paying them. They get injured. I said, let them play Sunday. It's fine. Yeah. Let them play. And we won the league. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. this was a fantastic interview, man. To have this is the fun fight now, coach. Um, of of uh, of on the couch. Um, we've got your predictions. <laughs> man United. <laughs> you said Man United. Liverpool. You said they needed to re-energize. Uh, you know, uh, you've you've had your your. What's up in the Champions league? league? Yeah. They they can they can do something because eh? of that that home atmosphere they can beat somebody it's you back know back now yeah, yeah they they can now. beat the team at the, you know it's back now so this this part we call would you rather would you rather would you rather rather not <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm not gonna ask you would you rather be a professional golfer or football player it's, oh, <laughs> it's worked out all right so far <laughs> mm. but um, would you rather retire as a forgotten coach with a winning record <laughs> or a famous coach known for losing championships. Would you rather coach Spurs? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, look, I mean, coaches, you know, you judge, uh, you know, you coach, uh, we spoke about this earlier. Coaches yeah. can get judged on, on winning trophies, but then they were the best clubs all their lives. Yeah. So yeah. people go on about Pep Guardiola's and Mourinho's and these people. Yeah. But they were the best clubs where they had big checkbooks, they could buy players. They're gonna, always a chance. They're yeah. going to do well. There's always yeah. You've got a chance. Yeah. We go to like Stoke City's, <laughs> Everton's. You're not going to win there. Yeah. But yeah. You, you, you become a better coach. Sure. Because you learn how to coach and how to get results and yeah. how to 
plan where you, Man City, you go into teams and say, right, we're going to play like this, we're going to do this because we've got X, Y, Z. So yeah, that's a difficult question. I'd rather, you know, you'd, yeah, you'd rather... I think the first one is yeah. easier, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they'll remember you anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd rather go there. Yeah. Um, mm. Second one, would you rather be a star of a bad team <laughs> or an average player of an elite team? I think an average player in the elite team. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much more enjoyable, isn't it? Yeah, because you're going to be on the piggyback of the good players <laughs> and making, I mean, I can think of, we can all think of hundreds of players. Yeah. Hundreds Jordan, of players. Jordan Henderson. <laughs> no, but Jordan, yeah, 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 Jordan Henderson. At the time, yeah. At the time, he was he was the glue, but Real Madrid would never sign him. Barcelona yeah. would never, never sign him. him yeah. Bayern Munich would never sign him. So, And then yeah. he won the Champions League and yeah. he's... His record speaks. So I think rather be an average player in a good team. I, for me, team is more important than the individual. Yeah, individual. yeah, yeah. So these star players, the problem with the star players, yeah. they this week and then next week, not so good. <laughs> if, if they get, if it's they like fight. buying a striker yeah. or buying a goalkeeper yeah. for 100 million. I'd rather buy a goalkeeper. Yeah, got you. Because the striker's not going to score even, but the goalkeeper the game, will save yeah. you. Yeah. He'll save you 15, 20 points a season. Hundreds, hundreds. He's not going to score 15, 20 goals. Hundreds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's, there's no guarantee. You know? For sure, mm. for sure. Haaland. Against Spurs. Well, he doesn't look very happy last <laughs> night, did he? Miserable. <laughs> very, yo. Um, would you rather be twice the height um, of Peter Crouch <laughs> or be half the height of Lionel Messi? So, Jesus. That's a bit of a <laughs> In terms a, of, but you have ability. You, <laughs> yeah. No, you'd rather be a Messi, wouldn't you? <laughs> Can't be a beanpole like that. No, 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 I'll be a Messi. Eh? <laughs> No, no, it won't be messy. Yeah, 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 yeah. messy. <laughs> the Peter Crouch, he's like. <laughs> but he was, for a big man, very Jeez. talented, though, right? Eh? Oh, no. <laughs> you still no, choose Yeah, he had a great this. touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. His first touch was good. Really good, yeah. But he'd rather be a messy. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather not play a single minute <laughs> and still win a Champions League no. or miss a penalty in the final after being the best player? Miss a penalty in the final. <laughs> miss a penalty in the final. <laughs> You don't want the medal, coach? Nah, bugger the medal. <laughs> it's okay. Rather be the main player <laughs> and, and miss a penalty. You know, he had a highlight. <laughs> yeah, at least you had a good, you had a good eight, nine months. For and sure. just sitting on the bench for eight, nine months watching. Nah. And the fans remember. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. You want to be out there, ne? They'll say hard luck. But they, they won't say hard luck to the guy on the bench. Uh, you know, <laughs> they'll say get rid of him. We're wasting our money. <laughs> yeah. You, you might as well be a water boy. <laughs> well, though, yeah. last, the last one, coach. Would you rather have... England <laughs> go yeah. out every tournament <laughs> yeah. uh, on, on penalties yeah. forever and ever, coach. Yeah. Or have Germany win the World Cup for the rest of time? Jeez. <laughs> um, I, actually, a, I, I mean, I actually quite like England. I think sure. England, they overhype themselves. The media, they blow them up to be world champions. Meanwhile, they've only won it once. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I mean, they've got a good crop of players now. Yeah. I think yeah. England, but England have realised that they need to change their way of yeah. coaching and playing. And yeah. I mean, I and was tried, yeah, I was in that process actually. Not I wasn't part of it, but I yeah. was when they were te- when they were you know because I went to England on my do my licences. Yes, um, they they changed their whole process. That's why you see the more Foden's of the world, Mason Mounts of the mm. world. These type of players that aren't specialists, they very good footballers. So technically, they could play in three four positions. Yes. So yes. they've done a lot of that. Uh, where they've gone away from that old big, you know, the, the way of style of football, you know, yeah, yeah. and and realize that the, the world they're not the best world best. <laughs> um, it was nineteen fifty six. Yeah, I, I like Germany. I like yeah. Germany. I think Germans. The mentality of the Germans are very good. Yeah, they're very proper. They're very organized. They're very disciplined. Yeah. and you know, I'm saying the whole world would be a boring place if Germany. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everything would be. <laughs> But everything would be It'd smooth. Be so the train would be on time. The <laughs> yeah. bus would be on time. You'd have you'd have a proper structure in the country yeah, yeah. if the Germans ran the country. Yeah, yeah. But uh, geez, they're all boring a bit, eh? Yeah. They, you know what I mean? And they they've hit a bit of a dip in the, in the, moment, in the way yeah. they you know players, and yeah. that's why they're taking players from England now. There's one their boy yeah. is very good. Yeah. So Miss Yale, yeah. I would I would rather say yeah the England. I would rather say England. England, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'm missing penalties. <laughs> And losing our penalties. Shame, eh? Yeah, shame. <laughs> yeah. Such yeah. a hoodoo for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it from us, coach. Any okay. update from your side? I mean, you want to tell Matatanza um, about your game, this upcoming game? We play, yeah, obviously we've got a team that's, a, you know, we don't know anything about, um, yeah. which is always difficult. Yeah. Um, you know, but if we play properly and 
you know, we've got to be saying we're going to get through. But I mean, you never know with these games. And so obviously the preparation today, this morning of training, yeah. tomorrow and then play Wednesday will be like we're playing against uh, Sundowns, you know, the top side. So yeah. we'll never change that with me. As long as you do your preparation right, I think uh, in anything in life, yeah, yeah, you know, if you prepare properly, in anything you do, yeah, yeah, I think the results will be, you know, might not ca- happen overnight, of course, <laughs> but if you stick to it and don't yeah. change and, and make sure you yeah. tick in all the boxes, yeah, uh, before you do anything, I think uh, you'll have success. I think the crew appreciates that. Uh, coming from a championship winning coach, of course, uh, with uh, great pedigree in South Africa. Um, much respected as well. Um, has a lot to do with super sport now. You know, to get them back to, to the glory days that he left them in. <laughs> Just give us a checkbook. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Coach. No, really thanks for having me. Eh? Yeah. Thanks, eh? really I hope you have a lot of success with your show. And, uh, Thank you so much, man. You can go from strength to strength. Yeah, let's rock. If you need anybody to come and help you, I'll just phone me and I'll help you. No problem. Ah, guaranteed. No problem. End of the season. Everything that he said, please take a note. Leave your comments. I hope you're watching. Um, leave your comments. There's, there's a money pot that is growing that you can get a share of. Leave us a comment. Leave your username in the comment section right there below. Let us know what you thought of the show, what you thought of what Coach Gavin Hunt has said. Any highlight that you picked up, we'll pick out the best comment uh, and you can win a share of anything from 300 Rand to boost your, your, your wallet and up. You know, it just depends what kind of mood we're going to be in at that time but uh, please leave us your comments um, lots of uh, lots in that pot to win of course check out the price boost check out our socials for more activities and please don't forget to subscribe like because we'd like you to get alerts every time an episode drops especially this one and the next one that's dropping every single Friday look out on our YouTube channel if you're not subscribed of course but if you are subscribed you're going to get a notification that's me Umchaga your friend I say Dlalam Dlali Mkhlabangawako